you were at you were at practice today. Yeah. Uh, some changes to the lineup. It looks like. Yeah, for the let's Cox. get to that instead. What it put that behind me, Alex? Please. Um, so we got some changes to the lineup. Some big changes to the lineup, if you ask me. Uh, let's get started with the top line uh, as we continue to talk about Bo Horvat. Uh, so him and JT Miller have a new line mate quads. And if you would have guessed, I don't know how many picks it would have taken before you got to Jack Studnika as uh, as the guy playing on the right wing of the Vancouver Canucks' top line. He came out in top line red, and I was like, huh. Are they using like an extra? Like who's going to be in that spot? And then nobody else came out there uh, in that top line red. So here's a quote from from Studnika. You're laughing. Let me get the quote out first before you make fun of me even more. Uh, this is from, from Jack. He said, uh, Bruce is trying to figure me out as a player and I'm trying to figure out him as a coach. And for him to give me this opportunity, it's awesome. And I'm looking forward to taking advantage of it. You know, a little bit of a bigger body getting an opportunity. What do you like? Go ahead, say it. What's the, what's the comment? What, am, what are they saying now? Nop said, looks like the Woodgrove a and W. But yeah, don't get me. That's the. I've got my old A and W outfit somewhere. <laughs> Please wear it tomorrow. Yeah, probably will. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry. We're we're done laughing at you. Chat, be nice to Chris. Yeah, all right. The chat's not going to stop. Uh, I'm going to stop. Go ahead. Right. Um, so Jack Sednika, like you said, yeah, big opportunity for this kid yeah. to go out there. And Speaking play. of Bo Horvat getting consistent wingers, oh, Jack yeah, Sednika. Here's Jack Sednika for you, Bo. Anyways, I, I'm not going to continue no, this conversation. I, I, I had a little one-on-one with Jack after practice because everybody's uh, everybody's diving. I don't know why everyone would want to talk to Luke Shen so bad today, uh, but I snuck off and talked to Bear. I got the Bear audio. We'll get to that in a minute. Alex, you can prepare that while you flip whatever, find another McDonald's to put me in. Um, Studnika, yeah, playing on that line. He just said, like, with those two players and, and specifically, like, creating offense, it's north-south. That's all you really got to do with these guys. And I, I found that kind of interesting because think about, like, Huglander, who was in that spot, Connor Garland that was in that spot, like those guys are very east west type of players, move the puck around and you know, through the neutral zone. I, if Studnik is going to have success, it's going to be going forward and backwards with these guys, right? Like you are going to get yourself into scoring chances. A lot of them are probably going to come um, from quick rushes and, and you know, three on twos, two on one situations if you present it that way. So, like, I think if Studnik can do that, you know, well, interested to see. This is a young guy still who, who's going to get an opportunity. He's going to be the Canucks second line center in, a, in two weeks when Horvat gets moved. But uh, we'll see what happens here moving forward. But, you know, I even asked him about playing on the wing, and he, he says it, it's nice to see, like, a little bit of a different view of the ice when you're playing on the wing, but he liked playing at center. He's a natural center is what he told me. So um, we'll see if he's back at center, if he's going to stick on the wing for a little bit. Here's the other big. This is probably bigger for me. Um, Quinn Hughes and Ethan Bear, now the top defense pairing for the Vancouver Canucks, uh, from practice today anyways, found it very interesting uh, that those two players are playing together. A little bit of maybe a worry about that being a smaller pairing. I asked Ethan Bear about it because I chatted with Bear a little bit today too. Um, we can run that audio now, Alex. Uh, this is Ethan Bear talking about the line being a smaller pairing but him not being so worried about it. At the end of the day, we get paid to do a job, and that's what it's about. And it doesn't matter how big or size you are. It's, it's about you know bringing that compete. And, and you know, using your skills, using your skills, and, and that what got you here to break the puck. So obviously, there's bigger guys. You're not going to be able to move them around, but you got to be um, creative in, in order in ways to get the puck and move it forward. And that's you know, that's something I figured out uh, in this league. Um, I'm not a bigger guy, but I can sure hold my own against bigger guys. I battle hard. Um, but you know, for me and Huggy, if you know, if we do go out tomorrow, it's just going to be for me just being solid defensively, moving the puck quick, and um, you know, I'll try, I'll try to help him out there. But I know he's good in his own end too. I just try to keep encouraging him to do good. Yeah, I mean, I like Ethan Bear. I do too. They're going to have to play a little different, right? They are smaller. Uh, it's going to be a smaller pairing, and, and specifically for for Bear, right? I mean, like, or sorry, for Hughes, right? Like, you're going from Luke Shen to Ethan Bear. It's a very different uh, look as your partner. Um, and yeah, I think it could be good at moving the puck, but I, I wonder what they're going to end up looking like in their own zen. And, and I found it interesting the quote that he said there about, you know, yeah, they're not the biggest bodies, but they have to defend a little different, be a little smarter with how they defend. But also, you just want to be good positionally too. I mean, that's something I think the Canucks have struggled with so much. And it's not just because big bodies are being able to push their way to the crease. It's just because like the Canucks aren't in the right spot to defend the crease. So I, I think this could be a pairing that looks half decent. I think they've looked good together in the small uh, kind of like shifts that they've had feels like late in games down by one it feels like that's the pairing that's gone together uh ethan bear seems to be the guy who's trusted to go out there uh as the second defenseman in overtime so like yeah you're you're i think you got you got your two best puck moving defensemen now playing together so i'm excited to watch these two and uh yeah i like that uh, i've seen that pairing be tossed around a lot the huggy bear pair and lisa threw that in there so the huggy bear pair getting an opportunity uh 
looks like tomorrow in Calgary. So we'll be interested to see how that works out. Yeah, absolutely. Again, like we'll see tomorrow morning um, what it looks like. I'm, that's a high risk, high reward pairing, right? Like Ethan Bear, Quinn Hughes. Because mm-hmm. I think if it works out, it's going to work out pretty well. And again, like you talk about guys that you think might be here for the long run. I think you have to put Ethan Bear in that list. And I've said it before. And I'm, I don't think I'm saying yep. anything new. I don't think there's many out there that would agree or disagree, excuse me, that Ethan Bear is probably a guy you want to keep around if possible. And again, he needs a new contract at the end of this year. So yep. it'll be interesting what he gets. Let's uh, let's talk about some other quick uh, quick things. Another pairing that got changed, uh, Kyle Burrows, King Kyle. Uh, he is up now with Tyler Myers playing uh, on that third pairing. So with a result of Kyle Burrows going in, that means Riley Stillman is on the outside looking in. He was skating with Dermot today on the, on what the Canucks' fourth pairing kind of looks like. You're still, you know, still wondering what's going on with Dermot. We haven't really got, been able to get an update here. But uh, he's still practicing, and he's practicing hard. So it uh, looks like Burroughs will go in. He'll play with Myers, um, and that means that Stillman will come out. So, like, completely different pairs, right? Because now you're going to have OEL and Luke Shed playing together. So, uh, Foot speed, you know, baby. Yeah, like I was just about to say. Um, you better hope that they're leaning on some guys because uh, the foot speed there will be interesting to watch play out. Uh, and then, finally, uh, Huglander was the extra at practice today, he had the uh, fourth line uh, white jersey on, uh, and the Garland dries Besser line back together. Anything you want to dive into from what I just uh, said? All there, the fourth line stays the same, by the way. Niels Huglander getting off that top line, especially in place of Jack Studnicka. You know, just, yeah, I don't know. If I can cut in here with Huglander, get him in the AHL. Yeah, right? get him in the AHL. Get Lane Peterson up here, right? He's got 14 goals in 16 games. Get Lane Peterson up here. Like, just whatever. Have him skate around with NHL players. See what he looks like in practice. Because, listen, the dude's got 14 goals in 16 NHL games since coming here to Vancouver. Like, he's uh, he's been excellent ever since he was traded to the uh, to the Canucks organization. Throw him a bone. Throw Lane Peterson a bone. Get him over there. And then get Pod Colson and Huglander playing together. Hell yeah. Get them playing together with, you know, Chase Waters out there or something. Canucks won that trade. Or, well, we'll see what happens. Oh, come on. Lane Peterson? Lane Peterson alone wins you that trade. Yeah, we'll see what happens there. Who would they, they trade for? <laughs> is, now i got to look it up. You're yeah, it was Lane Peterson. It was Ethan was, Bear and Lane Peterson right? together. Right. Yeah, for a yeah. fifth-round pick. Okay, yeah, they won that trade. I was thinking he was in the Myrenberg deal for a second. No, the Canucks may not have won that trade. But no. hey, Jack Stadnick is playing in the NHL. Where the hell's Jonathan Myrenberg? Oh, forgot all about him. And Mikey Scored DiPietro. The other day, actually. Mikey DiPietro. <laughs> Uh, not good for the quads take machine, Ooh, but no. uh, he's in the ECHL. It's been a not tough doing year great. for the quads take machine. Yeah. Well, last year we were on fire. What do you think from these line We were due for some regression. What do you expect from Studnika here? This is a big opportunity for him. This is probably the biggest opportunity of his career, right? He wants to He wants to show Bruce what kind of player he is, so let's see what kind of player he is. I, I haven't been blown away by Studnika, but again, what I said about Studnika last week uh, remains true. Get yeah. this guy in the lineup, put him in positions to succeed, right? Like, you don't want another bottom six winger out of this guy. He scored a lot in junior. See if you can maybe turn him into a middle six winger or yeah. a middle six center, right? Like he's probably not going to be a top line player. Even What's though he's 23 being deployed. years old. Yeah. Even though he's being deployed like one, um, he's probably not going to be a top line player, but see what you have in him. That's what this season should sure. be for. Figure out who's going to be here for the long haul. Don't go into it, not knowing what you have and then make the mistake and let go of a guy. Hmm. I.e. Nick Dowd. There's a name. Yeah, Nick Dowd, good player, fourth liner. Uh, I wanted to, uh, yeah, somebody, uh, Henrik asked in the chat, uh, Elias Pettersson, 100%. Looked like it at practice. He was uh, he's sick. He's back on the ice. I also, like, uh, I didn't see the, the dinner that they did last night. I didn't see any photos or videos of Pettersson, so maybe he wasn't in attendance for that either. I would hope not. Can we quickly touch on the Kuzmenko stuff, though? Yeah, Cause, the Kuzmenko's, cam. what you're wearing looks like Kuzmenko's hair yesterday. It was, uh, Kuzmenko's hair is unreal. He, he needs a haircut. Yeah, he probably does. But like, I was thinking, do you think he's had a haircut since coming over here? Maybe? No, like, maybe absolutely not. not. Based right? on that video, absolutely yeah. not. Oh, it looked, it looked awesome last night. Uh, great, great head of hair for him. Um, and Ty's asking in the chat, what happened to Joshua's tryout higher in the lineup? He it's might over. be. They didn't run power plays today. I'd be. I'd be curious to see if he's still on the second power play unit. But uh, it didn't really last much longer than one practice. That uh, listen, we we're told not to read into it. We didn't read into it too much yesterday on the show. Today is the lines. I think we got to read into because this is what I think we'll see tomorrow. Uh, and a couple of players mentioned it. Like I think Studnika mentioned it to me that like, you know, 
you can hear the players like if I play there tomorrow, if I play there tomorrow, but like him and Bear are both like when we play tomorrow. So I think that this is these are two things we're gonna see uh in the line up tomorrow as they face the Calgary Flames tomorrow, big game uh against the Flames here, and uh we'll see what happens there.